and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria and for those of you who are joining me again, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the previous video. Anyway, so today's video is a sort of travel bag video. So I travel quite a bit uh, and I'll be traveling in a week or so. I'm going to Cyprus. So I'm just going to show you all the things that I do. Now it will seem a lot but because I, everything is doubled up so I duplicate everything it just means that I have a cupboard where all my travel stuff goes and whenever whenever we're traveling whether it's away for the night or away for a few weeks whether it's abroad whether it's in this country whether it's to a hotel wherever it is I know that I can just grab everything from that and then also what I have on my phone show you I have a checklist so basically I have a travel list and it shows everything that I need wherever we go and then I can look through that and tick off and make sure that I mean obviously I don't need it, all of this if I'm only going away for the night or there's certain things that I can't take abroad that I obviously don't you know don't wouldn't pack because of saving luggage space but this is just a general list of everything so I don't take all of this away at the same time this is just a general list of what I take away when I go away I'm going to go through the list and I'm just going to show you the things that I take and why I take them and my reasons behind sort of like why I pack this. The first thing I'm going to start with is my aeroplane pouch. Now obviously when you go on the aeroplane you have to have everything in a plastic bag and most people just put theirs in your little clear bag that they give you. Um, well you are allowed to have your own one so I have this one and it says Je t'aime and this is what is always packed so I know that I can grab this and everything is in there. Everything that I need for the plane, um, everything that I'm allowed to take on the plane is in here and I know that I'm good to go. Now it's full, because you are allowed to fill them. Um, and let's start to see what we've got in here. Okay, so I have slight asthma, so I always carry an inhaler with me. Uh, next, tissues. I always make sure that I've got a pack of tissues. My sleep mask, because obviously if you want to try and get some sleep, and I have the one where the eyes are raised it's like a 3d so that it doesn't squash my eyelashes you can just pick them off ebay it's just black uh, a pen never know when you'll need a pen earplugs so recently when um other than that foundation if they've got that foundation um i got a charge yesterday because the primer didn't close till seven so i managed to get in yesterday okay so recently um i've been noticing that i have problems with my ears when we're descending fine going up fine flying but when we're descending it started off when we were um descending in marbella well from marbella to to into london or luton i can't remember where it was um and i got a really really sort of like a sharp pain right between my eyes like a, a real sinus pain i was a little bit blocked up but i do try and sort of like get rid of that when i'm on a plane but my ears were really really sore and then i also found it's only again it's only developed over the last sort of like year is that whenever we land i can't hear for the next couple of hours my ears are really really blocked up i thought right i need to work this out so they come obviously the earplugs is here the earplug comes like that they have different sizes so you can change the sizes and what i do is when we're you know when they start telling you that you know soon we're going to be landing blah 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 that's when i put them in and i found that they've really helped they've, i've had no pain and when i land take my earplugs out i can hear properly ibuprofen paracetamol i have a packet of each hay fever tablets as well just for general sort of like hay fever symptoms antihistamine i always make sure i've got a packet of them uh, hand sanitizer it's not always easy to sort of like wash your hands I get dry lips so, uh, so it's the pixie shea butter lip balm and it's got a bit of a tint so if i've just got like a nude lipstick or something so say i've done a 10 hour flight and i've got a nude lipstick um, rather than re-putting the lipstick on, I'll just use some of the um, lip butter. Again, to help with um, sinuses and breathing, because I can't sleep with a blocked nose or anything, and I find I get really blocked up on a plane. But I have a, a Vicks Sinex Soother. I usually spray it as soon as we got on the plane. If I'm, well, if I'm going to have a flight where I need to sleep, I'll spray it as soon as I get on the plane. Um, when I went to New York, I sprayed it and it lasted for the whole sort of journey. So, you know, the whole sort of like eight hours. If um, if it's a short flight and I'm not going to be sleeping, I'll spray it before we start descending so that it helps with my sinuses. Your skin can get really dry on flight. So I have put some of this, which I think is brilliant. So it's the Vitamin E Body Shop Hydrating Mist. So I've put that into a little 
um, Mac Prep and Prime Studio Fix Plus bottle, which was empty because it's a, it's a bit smaller and it's easier to put in your travel bag. You know, whenever I film that my face or my makeup needs a bit of an extra set or anything, I will just spray it round and leave it to dry. And obviously, it hydrates your skin and it brings your makeup back to life, so you look okay when you land. Because I like to look okay when I land. Hand cream. This is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. I have a couple of earbuds just in case you never know when you might need to get something out of your eye or out of your ear. I have a couple of floss, you know, when you're eating the aeroplane food and sometimes you get food stuck in your teeth. You can't always, you know, dig it out in front of everybody. So you can get a pack of like 50 from Primark for like a pound. The last thing in my travel bag is one of these chargers. So it pulls out and then you can press the button and it goes back in so it's actually quite compact so you've got the usb at the end obviously when you're when you've got a seat in front of you that's got the usb thingy you know in the seat i can't remember what it's called anyway and then at the end you've got the three um adapters so that one would be for like an ipad an iphone you've got the lightning charger and then that one i find um for my kindle charges my kindle up and then also i've got room for whatever lipstick i'm wearing that day i've taken so many flights and i've never had a problem with this bag i've never had anybody say oh you know it's too big or you can't see through it properly i've never had anybody complain about this bag so yeah if you want it to you know if you want your stuff to look a bit better than just in your you know the little plastic like freezer bags um just pick up one of these i got this in a glossy box years ago but i bet if you looked on ebay or something you could easily find them so yeah look out for that as long as it's uh, relatively clear they're quite happy with it and it just means that all your stuff stays, stays safe and you haven't got to fiddle around while you're in the queue trying to put things in bag. Now, I will take a normal sized hairbrush, but I usually have this in my travel bag so that I can brush my hair on the plane. So you've got the brush one end and then a comb. So it doesn't take up much room. I have a normal sized hairbrush in my suitcase. So I drink white tea and green tea. Sometimes when you go away, they don't have the tea bags that you want. And if I fancy a cup of tea, I'd like to have my own tea bag. So these are dragonflies. So I get the ones that are already in a packet. So you can literally just shove this in your um, in your handbag or in your travel bag or in your suitcase, and they will stay fine. So they're in their own little protector rather than being loose. Tampons, obviously self-explanatory. Again, I get the ones that are in the plastic rather than the ones that are in paper, which will just sort of like get ruined over over time, being thrown around and everything. I get the ones that are in like a more of a plastic coating. Cannot travel without my sleep pillow. I also sleep normally with one of these because it protects your eyelashes but that's another story so this is my only pillow i have two or three of these i have one that stays in my bedroom all the time which i sleep with every night and this is the one that i travel with because it's black and it goes with everything and you can clip it at the end so you can put it around your suitcase or, or whatever this i bought from tk maxx tk maxx are brilliant for um sleep pillows and it's memory foam it goes back to its original shape so i use this on the um, plane obviously to sleep or if you're sort of stuck in the middle of people and you don't want to sort of like put your head either side and then i obviously use it the other end as my every night pillow baby wipes obviously doesn't need to be this brand or whatever these are just tesco's own baby wipes i put them in my suitcase because they're handy if you've got any spillages if you need anything wiping off your clothes or um your hands need cleaning whatever so my toothbrush and then i just have one of these protectors on the end so I can just sort of like throw it in my bag or throw it in my suitcase and it's already already and it's always protected. And these you can get them in like a pack of four or five from Primark for a pound. Toothpaste, obviously, because there's no point having a toothbrush without toothpaste. I just use Sensodyne. Normal size. You can get travel size, I suppose. I don't see why. I don't know why I don't. I probably should pick up a travel size. Straighteners, glove and mat. All of my hair stuff I have in one of my sort of like old Louboutin shoe bags. And inside here, I have my two-in-one straighteners and tong. Straighteners and tong? Yeah, straighteners and tong. It means that I only have to take sort of like one item, whether I want to have straight hair or curly hair. And then also in here, I have got my travel hair dryer, which, oh God, which opens like that and then folds down. And then also in here, I have a heat glove. Another thing I always have in my travel bag is one of these silicone mats that you can take with you and just plop on a table or on the bed or whatever, depending on how much space you've got or where they put the plugs and the mirrors, because they just never seem to think of people wanting, of women wanting, to, oh, not women, of people wanting to put their makeup 
on in front of the mirror or do the hair so they put the plug in one end and then the mirror on the other end I never understand it anyway and they stay in this bag all the time I like to have a little bit of chocolate in the evenings with my tea so I always take enough chocolate for the whole time I'm away put it in the fridge while I'm while I'm there so I don't need to show you what chocolate it was. looks like pack of makeup wipes these are just simple all about oil balancing cleansing wipes they're good for cleaning up your eyebrows or cleaning up any sort of like mascara under your eyes and obviously taking off your makeup. Makeup eraser glove. Depending on how long I'm going to be away, depends on how many of these that I take. I've also got them in like a cloth form. I've got the makeup eraser. I've got loads of them. These are from Primark. I think you can get two for a pound and one side is sort of like an exfoliating side and then the other side is like a toweling side. Just take your makeup off, you put them on as a glove just with water and scrub all your makeup off and they really they work really well but obviously you just you don't get that many uses especially because I wear a hell of a lot of makeup one of these isn't going to last you two weeks unless you get a chance to wash wash clothes or, or whatever I'm never without chewing gum in all my cars I just I'm obsessed with chewing gum I don't know why I just, I just have always had this thing with chewing gum I always use the thing I always have extra spearmint I carry a big tub of these and um, then in my handbag so I've got them sort of like at all times sunglasses again I've, I always need sunglasses because I've got really sensitive eyes to the sun so um, I always make sure that I've got sunglasses I'm really bad because I take I usually take more sunglasses than I'm away than the days that I'm away so I've got sunglasses for every outfit stupid I know another thing that I get really annoyed about is my feet swelling it doesn't matter what sort of shoes I'm wearing no matter what I'm trousers I'm wearing I always get swollen ankles and feet and then you because I take my shoes off as soon as I get in the plane and then you struggle to get your shoes back on especially if you're wearing heels or something so I found that these really helped they're not the most attractive looking but they definitely do help so these are just airplane socks I think I picked them up from the airport but you can get them from eBay um, I just bought them in black they go up to um, just below the knee and they really do help. So it just means that I can, I put them on um, before the plane and then take them off afterwards, obviously, when I put my shoes back on and my feet are normal. My feet are a normal size. Then also for long haul flights, I like to be comfortable because you want to sleep or you want to sort of like put your feet up or whatever. So I always want to be comfortable. So I either take an outfit to change into in the toilets, like a tracksuit or pajamas or something, or I'll go in a comfortable outfit. But the majority of the time I'm, I'm sort of like, I am quite dressed up for the air, um, airport. I do like have a, an airport outfit, but if it's a long haul flight and I want to be nice and warm because I hate being cold on the plane, I take comfy socks as well. So these are just a pair of thick, um, wool socks from Primark again just because they're black just because they go with everything if I want to tan while I'm away I'll obviously take some tan with me and then a tan mitt again these are like a pound from Primark I um, obviously if I want to listen to music or I want to listen to a film I take my headphones the ones that I've got are the um, rose gold beats and again I have everything in this pouch that I need so I've got my headphones which open out and then inside this I have a few items I have a splitter in case you're with someone that hasn't got a headphone. No, that's that's not going to work, is it? Or if there's only one sort of like pin to for your headphones, it means that you can both listen to the same thing. So you can put two two headphones in the end. I don't think I explained that very well, but I'm sure you know what this is. Sometimes in some of the planes, they will have two holes for you to put your headphones in but obviously you only put your headphones in one but then it means that you don't hear anything in stereo so if you put one of these in and then put your headphones in the end you can then hear everything in stereo this is just the charger or if you don't want to use your headphones on bluetooth because these particular ones are bluetooth so when i don't want to use them on bluetooth i've got obviously this end that goes into the um headphones inside of the headphones and then because of these are beats but i have the iphone 7 i need a little adapter that goes on the end so that goes into there and then that end can go into your phone and then also the charger that I showed you in my airplane pouch also charges these so it just means that I'm sort of self-sufficient because I like to have everything when I'm traveling I like to be comfortable they come with a little clip on the bags so, uh, on the end so that you can put them onto your handbag or something so I like to read when I'm away especially abroad I like I can get through one to six or seven books so I just have a Kindle paperweight no paperweight I think it's called so I have one of these um, I have it in a leopard print cover. Again, the charger that I've got also charges the end here, so I can keep it charged. I keep that on me on the airplane so that I can read a book 
while we're flying and then I use that all through my holiday. Um, so I always have scissors but obviously I don't carry them in my air, anything that's going on the plane. These go in my suitcase. And tweezers as well. I have a few different shapes shaped tweezers. Tweezers are tweezers so I have the sort of like the the thicker end ones, I have the sharp end ones. This is my makeup brush bag for traveling so I don't use these in my normal collection but this is duplicates of everything. I've got all my brushes duplicated but not necessarily my makeup but I do have sort of like some items but I'll show you in these in a bit. So I have two sponges, I've got a beauty blender, this is a Primark sponge and I just use that for my powder and then obviously my blender for makeup. I've got all my brushes, so these are brushes that I either have duplicated in my normal collection or I've bought, oh there yeah, I was looking for that. So I have a lot of brushes. And they stay in there. I also have a, I have a few of the eyelash combs for my eyelashes and my eyebrows. I have a pencil sharpener. I have some eye shields for when I'm doing like a proper dramatic eye look. I've got a little mini beauty blender, face pad. It is clean even though it looks dirty, but this is a clean one so that I can um, pat on my makeup. So these are most, mostly Zoeva. So all I did was I bought a Zoeva set of brushes and they're the rose gold ones. It came with this pouch as well. So and I've just sort of like added to the collection. So I've got a couple of real techniques in here, Primark. So I've just got a brush for everything. So any look that I need to do while I'm away, I can do with these brushes. Also from Primark, I picked up one of these little tools. It's something you can live without, but I thought, why not? It's so cheap. So you just put it under your eyelashes and do your bottom mascara and it stops you transferring your mascara onto your onto your face. That is always packed. I go for a little travel deodorant. This is just the Nivea black and white. In my travel bag, I will take a little bottle of perfume so this is the scent addict atomizer i probably won't wear perfume on the way to the airport and then when you get to the airport you can just wear what you want and then i'll put my perfume bottle that i take away with me in my suitcase in another little bag that's always made up is all my, my leads and everything so i've got a universal plug which has two usbs on the side and then another thing that well what i'll do is i'll plug this into obviously a plug while i'm away and then i'll plug an english um, extension lead into there so then you can just use all of your appliances your hair dryer your tongs another thing that I make sure that I've always got and is always charged is a, so a spare battery pack um, again I've got all of the like USB so I make sure that I've got loads of these things long and short so they can just go into everything and then that can go into thing. and then that all stays in a little pouch which again just stays in the cupboard and is always packed. A razor, again I just always make sure I've got a box of plasters um, and then a few in my handbag as well. Have a few of these, um, again you can just buy, a, Primark is so easy, you can literally buy a pack of something and just keep it away, you know you get a pack of, I don't know, five or six of these for a pound, so you can just buy the whole pack and then just keep it in a travel bag or keep it in a cupboard somewhere or a drawer and you just know that you've always got because these are really good um, when you want to put your hair back at the pool or something a microfiber cloth is another thing that i um, always take away with me it's really good for cleaning your jewelry cleaning your brushes and then you can just stick it in the washing machine when you get home this one's just uh, you know you buy them in packs of two or three from supermarket but the thing that i picked up from primark and again i just keep them in a in the sort of like the containers they were bought in are hair clips so i have the these ones and then these ones come in their own little plastic pouch I think they were a pound each again you can get away with a, a little depending on how much hairspray you use but these you know these last me no problem you can just pop that in your suitcase um, travel bag because it, it, it can even go on the plane yeah 75 mil it can go on the plane again I picked one of these up from well actually it's two for six two for 60p in Primark oh god this is proper Primark outfit isn't it if anybody hasn't gathered I love Primark so this is just nail glue because obviously I have my nails done and if you break one while you're away there's nothing more frustrating so you can just make sure that you've got glue oh so I've been away sometimes and I've forgotten any flat shoes like flip flops so I just take like a pair of sliders away with me or flip flops even if it's just for the night because going down for breakfast the next morning you don't fancy putting your heels back on I'll probably wear heels there I'll probably wear heels for the event and then the heels back and I don't fancy wearing heels for breakfast so flat shoes um, whether it's trainers, sliders, flip-flops, whatever it is. Mouthwash. This needs filling up because I did use it the last time I went away. So I just bought one of these bottles and then whenever it needs filling up, I just fill it up for my 
mouthwash that I have in, in my home. So I keep a sewing kit on me traveling at all times just in case the hotel doesn't come with them. I decant everything into small um, pots. I mean this is still the Charlotte's Magic Cream but when it runs out I will put it, I will put just a normal moisturizer, I'll probably put my um, Aldi moisturizer inside but this is just the Charlotte Magic Cream. I got this uh, at Christmas in a little pack of some some miniature thing. Again it's fine for travel. I make sure I have uh, at least two of them on me at all time when you're doing your makeup or when you want your hair out the way. Again cheap Primark, you can buy them in a pack of like 10 a thumb away. My roots have started to come through and I've not managed to get them um, filled in. I always carry a bottle of the L'Oreal Magic Retouch. I have it in the colour black obviously because my hair's black. It just means that, see I'll use it today because my hair is a bit, you see that my roots have come through. So you literally just, that's it, done, sprayed sorted you just have to be careful of when you put your fingers through your hair because then you can get um the black can sort of like end up on your fingers and your fingernails dry shampoo because you just can't always bother to wash your hair um, and also i find that dry shampoo even if you have washed your hair dry shampoo works really well with giving your hair a bit of volume and just a bit of sort of like lift and stuff oh yeah now I've really messed up my hair again this is a primark one uh, i do have the batiste ones i have like a few sort of hanging around but this particular one is the ps love your hair and it's um for brunettes as well so it's a dark colour you can get it for blondes as well this was just a pound i take quite a few vitamins every day so i bought one of these from primark and then i fill up the vitamins when i go away um, and obviously if you're away for two weeks you have two and whatever so again i decant my heat protectant spray into a little travel bottle just one of these washing bags just so that you can put all your obviously you're washing in uh you can always get that you can also get them for bikinis put your bikinis in while they're damp um and that just sort of like separates your separates your dirty underwear from your clean underwear and if you just keep them on you whenever you're traveling you'll never sort of like run into any problems so body tape isla body moisturizer again this is still the orange but when it's empty i'll just decant, decant another body butter into it shampoo and conditioner Again, in travel sizes, um, I don't bother decanting them, I just buy new ones. I get quite a few migraines, so I find that these um, soft gel sheets, these migraine sheets really help, so I have a packet of those that I keep with me at all times. I know this sounds a lot, but you need a lot when you're travelling. Hairbands, again, I like these really thick ones in Primark, you get a handful for a pound, and I make sure that I've just got the whole sort of like bundle. Compi plus the gel sort of like blister plasters. Another thing we find at hotels, you should always sort of like take them, is all these little packets that they give you with, where is another one? Cotton balls, shower cap, cotton buds. They're already packaged, they're in a small amount, you may as well take them and use them in your travel bag, they're free, you may as well have them. When I need to remove any sort of like moisture, uh, any mascara or any tough makeup eye makeup that won't come off i always have a little bottle this is just in a little enemas bottle but it's a bottle of baby oil instead of like taking a whole bottle of foundation from most makeup counters i think only nars i think only nars are one of the only ones that don't do samples which i think is pathetic but anyway they just don't do samples but most other brands do samples so whether you've got mac or dior or Chanel, wherever it is, they do little samples that you can get of foundation. You can get colour matched and they'll decant it into a little bottle like that and that bottle is brilliant to travel with. Why do you need to travel with your whole, I mean look at the size difference. So that's the, obviously the Charlotte Tilbury bottle. Okay so this isn't the foundation but this is the size that the foundation comes in. I do have samples of the foundation, but I've just not taken them out. So that's the different size. So this is the Magic Cream. Um, and that will last you for one, one full face out of that size sachet. So especially if you're going away for a weekend or whatever, you don't need to take a whole bottle. You can just take a few samples. And I collect samples from absolutely everywhere. So I've got MAC, I've got um, Dior, I've got Chanel, I've got La Mer, I've got uh, Charlotte Till. I've got every single foundation brand apart from NARS that you can think of I have samples from it means that I can test them out and it means that I can travel with them you know so I don't have to take a full bottle of foundation because you don't want a full bottle in your travel case or whatever so again that's another good tip always get some I've got an illuminating fixing spray 
and then also I have, if you're going to be away for a while, you're going to need to clean your brushes or whatever, again, this is a really good travel block that you can use. This is just a little pot of hair gel. I use it to smooth back my ponytail or smooth down my eyebrows. I think we're at the end. So a couple of other things. I'm literally going to be two seconds and I'm done. I'm just saying, I'm just ending it and then I'm done. Okay. Um, so these, I picked these up from Primark for a pound. Um, I'm going on a few sort of like hot holidays this year. So I'm going to see what these are like. They are full bottles, but I reckon they'll be all right. And they were a pound each. And that's everything. And that's everything that I um, I travel with. I know it's a lot, but like I said, I don't take it on every journey. But I just have a sort of checklist that I know that I can sort of like refer to. And then the only other thing is... Oh. And then I have my makeup items. So again, these are mostly duplicated to what I have in my collection anyway. So I have double of all the concealers. I have highlighters doubled up that I've already got in my collection. I've got eyebrow products, um, loads of little foundation testers. Again, um, powder, which I have a duplicate and then I mean, I could be here. A setting spray. I've got pencils. I've got concealers. I've got absolutely everything in here. And I've got powders. Again, um, that's my RCMA powder decanted into a pot. And then I've got banana powder. I've got absolutely everything doubled up in there. And then I have one of these. So this is just... A magnetic case that I made up so I've got my um, Anastasia contour creams and then I've got a glow kit this is glow kit and then a couple of Kat Von D contour colors there so again that's just something that stays in my travel bag I don't have to take it from my normal collection because these are all doubled up so at least I know that I've got general makeup I know that I'd have enough makeup in there to do a full face but if I know that it's a certain look I need to take with me or there's a certain look that I need to do then I will go to my normal collection and take those items but I know that generally I can pack really quickly that's it I'm gonna end it I'm gonna end this video now because I could just go on forever about traveling and packing and I will be traveling in a, in a couple of weeks you'll know now what I will be packing I hope you like this video I hope you found it a bit helpful if you thought that I've packed far too much I do apologize but this is That's um that's the end of my video for today and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope the next time you travel this helps you. I will see you soon. Bye bye.